I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing bickering book reviews. Today we're talking about Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, which Sarah got at BEA, and I got through, I want to say, Edelweiss. I'm so glad I waited in that line that took forever. After reading it, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't. I think I went and, like, while you were in that line, I think I stood in, like, three other lines to get books that we've used. But um, I'm pretty sure that's one of the ways we got Moxie, which was... No, definitely. Yeah, but then it was available on Night Galley. Anyway. Phenomenal. Yes. So this book is about Will, who is 15 years old, and he just watched his his brother get gunned down. And he can now decide if he's going to go out and take the revenge that he is owed or if he's going to try to go onto a new path. And when he gets on the elevator to go down to leave the building to do whatever he's going to do, he encounters... I even know how to phrase it without giving it away. Visions? He encounters things that make him question what's going on. And that's all I'm going to say. He has a stern talking with himself. I don't I don't want to say more than that. So this book blew me away. Oh, it was phenomenal. And anybody who knows us knows that we're big fans of Jason Reynolds. But this, to me, is like, I, if he does not, I don't know if it would be a Newberry or a Prince, if he does not win something for this, I can't even wrap my mind around it. Well, like, and I just feel weird that every book that I've, like, recently read by him, that it turns into this book that I just want to take and shove into everyone's faces and tell them they have okay, to read it. Yeah. It sounds so disingenuous, but it's not. Like, these books are phenomenal. And this one, like, just blew my mind again. So it's told in verse. And Which I was like, I was super nervous about. I don't because, think like, he's done one in verse, has he? If he has, I can't remember. A lot of them, I list. A lot of his books, I listen to. That's true. Um. So no, I was kind of nervous about verse because sometimes, really sometimes it doesn't there. It doesn't translate well. But he did it beautifully. I mean, he does everything beautifully. Um. Mm-hmm. And the incredible thing about this book is that it all takes place. The majority of it, not all of it. There's a little bit before and a little bit after. I don't think there's anything after. It takes place on the elevator ride. So the whole thing takes place in like a minute. What? And it's like, what? beautifully done. And oh, every chapter. It's so well developed, too. Right. And then they'll say like floor eight. And then this is like this <sighs> chapter. And then floor seven. Um, well, at first, the pages are textured in my arc. And like at first, I'm like, what's going on? Like without like knowing what was going on at that point. And then I realized that they're textured to look like the inside of an elevator. I didn't even get that. (gasps) And that was like, I had to read it. So the computer at work, which I probably shouldn't admit that I read at work, but whatever. I'm a librarian. It wouldn't, it wouldn't pull up. So I had to read it on my MacBook. It was the only way that I could get it to pull up and actually scroll so I could get through the arc. So maybe that's why it wouldn't work Mm -hmm. on your computer at work because it has. It's the texture. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, why? I didn't get that it was supposed to be the inside of an elevator, but that makes perfect sense. So cool. Um... And, like, it starts so many conversations because it talks about kind of the environment that he's in and the different things going on. He plays with form. He plays with verse. I mean, so there's that that you can talk about. He works in anagrams. There's, like, this is an English teacher's dream, but also a reader's dream, too. Well, and it's so brief. We actually have a copy of it here. But it's, like, these characters are so well developed. But, like, this is, like, the kind of, like, see the texture. And then, like, so every page is so little. So, like, if you have a kid who would like to read something like this, like, like that, um, it's perfect for a reluctant reader because there's so much story. And this is, like, a great reluctant reader homework assignment book because you can talk about all these things. And I think I read it in, like, an hour and a half. Yeah. And I and then I wanted to go back and read it again. And it's just... I probably will. It was, it was so beautiful. Like, like I said, if he doesn't win an award, I can't even... Well, like, and honestly, like, now I want to go see him talk about this book because... I feel that there's so much, like, there's so many layers to this book that you can really explore, and I kind of want to see what, like, what was going through his head as he's writing it, because there's so, like, it's so deep, there's so much, like, just the book itself is just scratching the surface of everything else that's going into it. Well, and when we saw him speak about All American Boys, like, he just really brought out so much more. Um, I don't even know what more to say. The character, like, the, you love this character. You care about this character. All of the characters that are so briefly introduced, they're just so well-developed. Um, I have nothing else to say. Other I feel than, like we could just keep gushing about this book yeah. forever. So really, all I have to say is you should read this book. Like, it is phenomenal. So we're going to rate it. Obvious, our rating's kind of obvious. But we start up at five unicorns, and we go down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. It's a five. I know. I'm going with a five. Like, I'm really hesitant to give fives, but, like, this did it. I've like, only, this is a five. I went back and looked on Goodreads. I've only given two fives this whole year, and this is my second five. This is a five. It's, it's incredible. incredible. Written. There's so much to it. 
the characters are developed. I mean, it's phenomenal. Yes. And so that is where we are a long way down by Jason Reynolds. All right, so bye. Bye.